What gives anyone the right to tell anyone where they can and can't live? When you import this culture, what do you think is going to happen? Australia is going to end up the same shithole that they came from that they were escaping. Watch how Jim Jeffries has edited this last clip to make me look like an ass. See what I really said. What gives anyone the right to tell anyone where they can and can't live? Really, like, um, borders. Though, I know, like, no borders. Yeah. But wouldn't it just be nice if, if we got to a place in society where we, we had no, well, this is a utopia, <laughs> where we all just lived as I, 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 on, 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 on a level I agree. You may you know, say I think, I'm a dreamer. I think, I think I think one. most most people, most you know, sensible people would agree with you in theory. Yeah, but in practice. It's not, it's a, it goes against human nature. It just doesn't work. <laughs> you bloody scumbag, Jim. The clip you just saw was the Jim Jeffrey show on Comedy Central. They set up this guy, Avi Yamini, and I'm going to take a quick little tour through it so that you can understand how bad this really is. Just not for um, Yamini. Thank God he had a camera there. But there was another person that Jeffries just did this to. And I'm going to show you what happened with him. And I'm going to show you a couple more clips of that Comedy Central show. You just have the complete story when it comes to how big of a scumbag this Jeffries guy really is. And your boy Zach, unfortunately, did not have a um, hidden camera when Jeffries did this to him. But thank God you many did. So let's get into it. I constantly try to show you um, examples of this on my main channel and this channel. So sit back because this one, my friends, is crazy. Let's go. Zealand shooter left behind a detailed record of his anti-immigrant, anti-Muslim rhetoric. And unfortunately, these days, this kind of intolerance is being tolerated in more places than you might think. So Jeffries basically flies Yemeni in there, questions him, changes the entire interview, puts it out, and a lot of people, they're going to get mad. A lot of people are calling for Jeffries to be fired, which he should be. His show should never be shown again. Because, uh, and you know, Yemini makes this point. If it was someone from the other side that did this, they would completely delete them off of every media platform, just like they did uh, several other people in the last year, and they would ghost them. But since it's Jeffries, we're not even seeing CNN or anyone else report on this. And this is an enormous story. Uh, it's It really exercises the bias that is there. But even more, the really evil tactics that people are willing to put in to uh, push their agenda. So what I did was I got there and I secretly put my phones down to record the entire segment. Even worse, imagine what somebody thinks when they get done watching this, right? If they don't know who this guy is and they trust Jeffries for some insane reason um, and then Think about all the other stories where this has happened. It turns out that the one thing that can bring together the alt-right and the Jew is their shared hatred of Muslims. Meet Jewish activist Avi Yememi, a good Australian name. So throughout the day, while editing this, I've been checking. When I first searched for Jim Jeffries today, I didn't get really anything. And then this popped up, which is the video that you need to see. Well, not really. This is Bounding Into Comics article, but I think it links to it. I'm going to give you the link and everything. So if you slide down, you notice that... Are you seeing anything from CNN, MSNBC, ABC? No, you're seeing YouTubers step up and talk about this. Once again, and I hate to stress this, but that's the main issue here. The media has more and more stopped trying to bring you the news. And they only try to bring you things that help push an agenda that they want for America, for, for our country and the world. I'm going to go ahead and just link you uh, to every video that you need to see about this. You could just search for it, but this is the main one. 
Abby Yemeni, and I hope I'm saying his name right. Uh, hidden camera, Jim Jeffries exposed. It was just put up like a day or two ago, right? Yeah, like three days ago, two days ago. Um, you got to go over there and watch this the whole thing because you really won't believe it. And then also, Yemeni says he's going to put out more, more videos on this, um, more instances where Jeffries blatantly took out his answer but put in something else to steer the show's agenda and i would go into a rant right now i'd go into a rant about how the media isn't doing their job how they're only covering things and steering things towards a narrative and then blatantly denying it and then on top of that censoring the other side pressuring big tech to censor the other side there's still one big question a lot of people are kind of stuck in the middle. They don't know whether to think that Big Tech is in it with them and playing like they're not, or whether Big Tech is out of it and just being pressured by them to do it. But either way, this is the story that you need to be paying attention to today. Or if, if you've already seen it, no problem. But I do, I do feel it's important. Yemeni says, you tweeted seven times yesterday. Today, nothing. He's talking to Jeffries. Not even a simple sorry to your fans for creating and publishing fake news, which literally there is too much evidence that Jeffries and his uh, show did. You are a lying scumbag, and Comedy Central has to sack you. I would love to go in to a little bit of talk about Comedy Central also and what they've turned into. Let's go ahead. Uh, I, haven't heard, I haven't watched this. Breaking. Jim Jeffries disables his Instagram comments. What a coward. Will Comedy Central step up? Not holding my breath. Let's hear what he has to say. So it's official. Old mate Jim Fake News Jeffries has disabled his comments on Instagram. Turns out that his own fan base are pretty pissed off about what he did in my segment. So... Comedy Central, this is a message for you too. Jim, this isn't gonna go away if you try to silence the people because people are rightfully angry. They're angry about the way you cut the interviews. They're angry, angry about what you said. They're angry about your hypocrisy, your cowardness. So step up and speak out. Apologize. Or Comedy Central, let him go. If he was a conservative, this would have been over by now. Stop with the double standards. 7.9 thousand thumbs up and 4.3 thousand thumbs downs. Uh, you know what's really strange about this, guys? Is that it had 2,000 thumbs up just a couple days ago and 4,000 thumbs downs. That's very strange about this video. It only had 30,000 views at the time, though. Uh, you know, I would kind of go into a little bit of... Uh, Wait a minute. How does that make sense? It had 4,000 views then with 2,000 thumbs up at 30,000 views. And I saw that in Yemeni's video three days ago. How in the hell has it only registered thumbs up since then? What? Hold on. Hold on. This is really weird. I'm going to look into this a little more. Let's look at some of the comments. They'll hate you. Most savage last word. I hope Jim just got up and left. Hey, Jim, what do you think would happen if Dingo ate? Oh, he actually said that in Yemeni's video. All the really bad things that Jim Jeffrey said, you need to watch Yemeni's channel. He needs the credit for it. I'm just directing you there. But yeah, if you want to hear Jim Jeffrey say that out loud, go to Yemeni's video. There it is. So to end this out, there is so much more. I've only touched on it. Hidden camera, Jim Jeffries exposed by Abby you mini head over there watch the whole thing not only will it shock you there is so much more there that i will i'm not going to go into because it's you know he deserves to i just want to make sure the people that watch my channel um know this happened because i tell you about all this kind of thing all the time with the media exploiting people selectively editing things and creating narratives that just aren't true um, I know there are some YouTubers out there who want to tell you that I never do this, but you can find it all over my channels. And here in the next few days or a week or so, I'm going to go into what Comedy Central is now because it's just completely different than it used to be. And I think it's because personally, let me give this really quick. 
I think what's happened is they um, the media noticed that a lot of people were going to Comedy Central for the Daily Show and and other shows instead of watching the news. So they decided just to take their agenda straight over there. One other thing, maybe I'll update you on what happened to your boy Zach. Comics Matter with your boy Zach. I'll update you about what happened with him later. But you could search Comedy Central, your boy Zach, or Jim Jeffries, your boy Zach, and get updated from Zach himself. I'll probably do a short recap when I go into the Comedy Central thing in a future video. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I'm Unirock. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. You can join my channel next to the subscribe button if you like what I do. Thanks for watching.